we are indeed. They've been giving us the runaround a little bit. They went through this horrible drainage line that we couldn't cross. So we had to go all the way around and we've only just gotten back to them again after sort of 15 minutes of driving. So it's not easy where they are now. They're busy walking along this undulating terrain on the edge of a little drainage area. And so it's quite difficult to actually keep up with them. Now we've got one lioness that's here. There's another lioness that's a little bit in front of us. And all the cubs are just on the other side as well. So they're quite spread out at the moment. And I think that they're looking around for something. They definitely picked up the scent or smell or heard something because they keep looking into the same direction and keep staring with quite a bit of intent. And they haven't settled this morning. It has. It's already quite warm. But they're still not settled. They're getting up and moving, getting up and moving. So I don't know if maybe they've spotted something and they're now on the lookout for food. Like I say, that impala between the nine of them was not really a very big meal. But you can see how in this area it is really, really suited to these lions moving around. Look at how long the grass is. So now she's walking out in the open a little bit. But you'll see she starts to go into a little thicker area and they just disappear completely. It becomes really tough to see them. Also the coloration of the grass, when these lions lie flat, it is a perfect place for them to ambush. So if they've spotted something that they potentially want to hunt, it would be quite interesting to see what it is. I know we did see some Nyala a little bit earlier when we were driving back towards these lions. So I wonder if that's not maybe what they've heard. Here comes one of the other lionesses. I'm sure the cubs will all start filtering in one after another because they were with that third lioness that joined. That's who they were with and so I'm sure they're going to start making an appearance. Mary, all six are here as far as I've seen. I will have to count again just to make 100% sure. It's obviously quite difficult with this grass that we're in as they kind of move around and difficult to keep track of all of them but as far as I know all six are here just now when they were lying down together I think I counted six but I will check just to make sure you can see all the three females are there together now so I'm sure the cubs are going to come slowly I can actually see the cubs are starting to come from the right so they're not going to be visible just yet but they'll come shortly but they feel, look very unsettled they I think they're in two minds whether to be sleeping or whether to go and pursue whatever they've heard up in the distance. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if a buffalo just appeared somewhere in front here? That would be quite something. Although, I think with just the three females in, in the condition that the buffalo are in currently, I think they'll try and probably avoid hunting buffalo. And just the three of them is not going to be strong enough to be able to bring down these healthy buffalo that we have at the moment. If all five were here, then maybe. And if there was a Birmingham boy present, then most definitely. But I reckon that there's not enough of them to start tackling big buffalo bulls. But you never know. Lions can surprise you. And I'm going to try to do my best at not hitting any stumps as we go through this long grass. stumps here and there that we have to negotiate though. Where did those cubs go? Now, I know the cubs were here on my right hand side so I just want to be a little bit careful about where I go. Ah, looks like we've decided to settle in the shade after all. So we're going to just position ourselves so that we can see them. sat in the shade now and I think they're just waiting for the cubs to join. Maybe the cubs have learnt that this is the signal that the moms want to hunt and that's why they've stayed back a little bit. The way that the three of them were walking forward, maybe the cubs think that there's a hunt going on and they're being very patient and clever and sitting at the back waiting, which is the way that they should do it. But you can see this line is to the side here. She is staring back and waiting for them to come. Ah, Aaron, well, this is a good question because lions are a little bit different than some of the other animals. The, he's asking whether the females 
care for all the cubs or just their own well they care for all of them so what you'll find is that they will have preference towards their own cubs so they'll make sure their own cubs are fed first and have milk and, and are looked after but they will help out with the mothering of the others too so they do allo suckle which means that they will allow the cubs to suckle from their different mothers or from themselves if they are not the mother and then they will also help in protecting those cubs so let's say something like a hyena had to run in now all three females will attack that hyena and try and look after their cubs as best as possible so they definitely do help out when it comes to mothering they all look after each other's but they definitely do show preference to their own cubs so in the situation where all the cubs are together then you'll find that the females will be a lot more tolerant of their own so they'll allow their own cubs to climb all over them and to mess around whereas with the other females cubs they'll be a little bit more grumpy and chase them away but they definitely will help in the protection of those little ones as well as even providing nutrients for them right so these guys seem to be settling down a little bit I'm just going to stick around with them for a while and see where they go and while they we do that I believe Taylor's found their favorite food item. So let's go across and see what it is. All right, so sorry about that. Um, Taylor, unfortunately, has got no comms, so we're going to stay with the lions. And you can see the little cubs have appeared as well. So they've come out and are making their way towards moms and coming to see what's going on. And I suppose I can't really call them cubs these days. They're getting so big, little sub-adults would be probably almost the term that we would use for them although they are still have those kind of cubbish appearance with the big ears and big paws they haven't quite grown into all of that just yet how many have we counted there so far VM that's three four five that we've got so far is that right six there we go so all six are here and there's the little one at the back so that's good news that all six are still around they're doing really well. They're looking healthy, especially the older ones. They're really not showing any more signs of that mange that we um, were seeing around the winter periods. They're mostly clean of it, except the youngest one. The youngest one still got a bit of scarring around the leg areas and looks a little bit tatty in places. You hear them talking to one another? So they're making those soft little cub sounds as they greet the females. Um, who are lying in the shade you can see the little one there we go look at that a little greeting just to say hello <laughs> got to be respectful towards mom or aunt depending on who she is you can see the little cubs are quite clever they know where the best shade is so they've completely gone past the first female because she's lying and not the best shade that there is and they've all gone to the other female who's positioned herself far better and they've all taken up a nice little bit of shade for themselves and look she's growling now because they're all lying all over her look at that isn't that amazing you can see she's just showing her teeth a little bit and ooh, a little bit of a lashing out and that's to say enough i don't want to be dealing with you lot right now i'm not in the mood You've been far too boisterous this morning, so I'm going to show that I'm not happy. And look at those eyes. As they say, if looks could kill, that's one of those stares that she's got. But as soon as all the little cubs settle down, you'll find that so will she, and the tail will stop flicking, and her growling will stop, and she'll probably start to fall asleep again. You can see how much bonding does take place in amongst this, amongst the Prider. They all flop down on one another and they rub up on one another. And it's just to reaffirm those bonds and to keep that pride bond very, very strong. Right, so Miss McCurdy has got her comms back, so let's go across to her.